All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, it's a short list of men and women who have held UFC belts simultaneously in two divisions, and God damn it, DC, you're on that list, man. Let's see how it goes for you here tonight, though. You're the underdog. I'm one of the blessed ones, John, to have been able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished, but it's taken a lot of hard work. Really focus on the striking, the grappling, having a great team at the American Kickboxing Academy, and as I walk to the octagon tonight, I am trying to show all the work that I have put in and hope that it's enough to get the hand raised once again inside the UFC's octagon. It is amazing to think that you didn't get your start in mixed martial arts until you were 31 years old. And one thing I've always said about you, even if it hasn't been the greatest training camp of your life, you have a penchant for rising to the occasion. There's something about fight night and those bright lights that once you sort of flip that switch, you're able to excel when a lot of guys fall. I'm a competitor from yeah. the octagon to match. I just want to uh -huh. win. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a head bump or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alright, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jump. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumps. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he told us on Thursday you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight 
is a grind. As ugly as he can make it, it's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Cormier is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by DC. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Close guard. Three minutes to go in the round. 38 total strikes have connected for Daniel Cormier. Nice punch lands over the top. Real sneaky body kick. Perfect timing on the Superman punch. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to clinch. Working out of that southpaw. Right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Cormier's going for an arm here. it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new! Champion of the world, Daniel D.C. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, D.C., but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.